United College, located in downtown Winnipeg, is one of the largest liberal arts colleges. United College, located in downtown Winnipeg, is one of the largest liberal arts colleges in Canada. Now comprising seven buildings, it traces its history back to the 1870s and the Presbyterian Church's Manitoba College and the Wesley College established by the Methodist Church. In 1938, these two colleges joined to form United College. Today, although it is affiliated with the University of Manitoba on all academic matters, it is a completely self-governing institution, free to educate according to its traditions. A vigorous building program begun in the 1950s and still in progress has provided the college with excellent facilities for the present enrollment of 2,500 students. The physical comfort of the students has not been neglected. Tunnels now connect all the buildings, a welcome protection from brisk Manitoba winters. Lectures form the basic part of any arts course. Professor Robson is lecturing on psychology. ...in both the arts and sciences and is well equipped with modern laboratories. With the ever-expanding developments in science, the study of physics has become increasingly important. In this experiment, a beam of electrons is bent by a magnetic field in a semicircular path. In this way, the ratio of the charge to the mass of electrons is calculated. Here a mass is being whirled into space to estimate the centrifugal force exerted upon it. With a spectroscope and discharge tube, the characteristic bright line spectrum of neon light can be observed and recorded. Fletcher's trolley is used to study the relation between mass and acceleration. In the zoology lab, much time is spent over microscopes. The intricacies of bone structure must be learned. This is the skull of a dog. Practical experience in dissecting reinforces knowledge already gained in lectures and reading. Learning how to use a microscope often requires assistance. The seminar permits the professor to discuss the subject matter informally with his students. A valuable aspect of the seminar is the exchange of opinions. Lectures, lab experiments and seminars are only part of the story. For every hour spent in class, more hours are spent in the library. At United College, the library, located in George Bryce and Ashdown Halls, contains 65,000 volumes. Facilities also include a language laboratory and listening center. Language tapes are available to students for use at the college or at home. Prescribed reading, class essays, and pending examinations all help to keep the reading room well filled from morning to night. The reference section contains over 1,100 volumes on open shelves. Also on open shelves are copies of the 200 periodicals and serials to which the college subscribes. A new modern kitchen can provide meals for all those in residence, plus any other students who require hot lunches and dinners. The dining hall can seat 500.
It has long been a tradition of many students to bring their own lunches and then buy soup and extras in the canteen. The intermingling of students and staff at mealtimes provides many valuable associations and is an essential part of college life. Morning coffee break in the new faculty lounge gives some of the staff an opportunity to get together. The teaching faculty at United College has some 80 members, many of whom have been trained abroad and who have come from other countries. There are residence facilities for 230 students. This room in Graham Hall is typical of the accommodation in this new residence. Students and the residents can relax or entertain their friends in the lounge. They will also take turns on the desk, distributing mail and taking incoming calls. The student council is one of the more important aspects of campus life. Its members have full responsibility for the governing of student affairs. This includes jurisdiction over such matters as athletics, current affairs, debating, social, theater, and relations with the University of Manitoba Students' Union. United College is an affiliate college of the University of Manitoba in the arts and sciences, and students registered in these courses receive their degrees from the university. This Veritiper is in constant use setting up materials for the college press. The students turn out three publications. The Weekly Uniter reports on campus life. Vox and Trictics are the university and collegiate yearbooks. The press also produces a large amount of instructional material as well as the college calendar. Students find a wide variety of extracurricular activities. Everything from music and dramatic societies to a friendly encounter over a chessboard. The student committee for our athletics holds regular meetings with the director, Ray York, former football player with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. With the addition of Mr. York to the staff, the college has been able to place greater emphasis on its athletic and recreational program. And not only students, but staff, too, participate in such sports as volleyball. Facilities are at hand for many individuals as well as for team sports. Problems that students encounter in the field of higher education are often complex. It is an important part of college policy to establish a close relationship between staff and students through individual counseling. United College is a church-related college established in the belief that the best foundation for higher learning is found within a framework congenial to religion. It has a proud tradition of including those of many backgrounds. Some 30 different religious groups comprise its student body. The primary concern of the college is to hold before the students those objectives which will challenge their highest and their best. 